name is Sharpan. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Invest, the parent company behind Global Exchange. This is the second part of a video series where we're articulating the specific utilities of our newly launched GX token. And if you haven't already watched the first video and the introductory video, we would strongly implore you to do so as it sets the right precedent to appreciate the second video. Uh, although the two utilities that we are going to explain in video one and video two have nothing to do with each other, they're actually separate, it gives you an understanding of the broad implications of how the GX token will impact our customers and uh, the ecosystem at large. The second utility tackles one of the most serious problems facing traders and money managers and clients today, which is that the trust infrastructure that connects the contributors of capital or investors, the managers of capital, money managers, and the regulatory bodies which oversee those money managers have completely eroded. And what that erosion has done over the last several decades is left the investor with less options than ever and accessing the least returns that they've ever done so. And so we see this as a very serious problem. We've released uh, significant literature on this topic to articulate again uh, why it's so detrimental. And we're looking to provide a unique solution to this. And one of our product sets, part of Global Exchange, that makes it so unique is a new protocol that we want to introduce called the IFO. And the IFO stands for the Initial Fund Offering. Now you might see the name similarities between IFO and ICO, which is Initial Coin Offering. And there's a good reason for that, as they share a lot of the same smart contracts framework, they share a lot of the, the and there's a good reason for that. They share so many features, and there's a good reason for that. They share so many features. A lot of the protocol framework, which the IC or the ERC20 protocol has put forth, has been used to architect the IFO, with some key differences that are use case specific to this problem of managing money. So we are building a literature base and a video base for you to dive deeply into our IFO protocol and the products that surround it. We implore you to watch those as well and to read about it because again, that sets the correct precedent for why this GX token is so valuable. We're gonna proceed assuming that you have done so um, and have an understanding of how the IFO works. To engage with the IFO, money managers need to have GXT. GXT is how the redeeming aspect of their fund is taking place. So in fund management, there's this idea of redemption, which is when you get, as an investor, you get your money back, uh, hopefully with profits, potentially with losses. There's redemption periods, there's redemption allocations. It becomes a real uh, pain to obviously get the money that you gave to your money manager back. As a consequence of this, regulatory bodies have built excruciating regulations around this process. We think that the GX token can automate this through smart contracts. So as soon as an IFO is set to expire, meaning that the fund is closing, either you've made profits or you've lost money, but the fund is closing, the proceeds are returned to the holders of the fund token by a GXT. So let's say I bought into Bob's fund and now I own BGXT, Bob's Global Exchange Token. That's his fund token. And let's say this token has been sold from party A who I bought it, me, because I bought it, sold to party B on a secondary market, sold to party C on a secondary market, and is now with party D. Now the fund is closing, and the proceeds, the actual capital that was initially allocated through the IFO, will be returned completely to the holder of Bob's GXT token in native GXT token. And so that creates an enormous utility and demand on behalf of money managers to fulfill their contracts in this IFO process. And again, if you imagine the scale at which money management occurs and the complexity at how hard it is to fulfill that process, a automated blockchain enabled transparent solution like an IFO will create enormous demand. And if the only vehicle by which they can redeem 
their initial capital allocation, the investors and the money managers can uh, issue that capital back to them is through the IFO, then you've now created a consistent need for the GX token. And so again, if you are an early holder of GXT, if you're just someone that's holding reserves of GXT because you want free GX Live, you can start to see how this ecosystem uh, builds on top of each other, creates the natural utilities, the actual products. These are real problems we're solving for real businesses and creates that demand, which will, of course, by pure demand economics, increase the value of the token. And that will even further engender this ecosystem to have leverage and to work for your best interest.